What's up, guys? Share here. <laughs> okay, I am going to do another video on a topic that I've been wanting to talk about for, I believe, about two weeks. It was two weeks ago, but um, I didn't get a chance to talk about it. And this topic right here seems to seems to have gotten you know it has gotten my attention, and I want to share my views and my thoughts of it okay so this was a story that i stumbled across on facebook of course during the news feed like i always do that's where i always get my news as i say in my other videos and there was a post uh, involving actor kirk cameron for those of you who don't know who kirk cameron is if you watched him in growing pains um, I believe he he played the the older brother actually on Growing Pains. I'm not sure of the character. I know the show that he played in. It's just that I'm not really I'm really small in detail about it. And also he is the well, I believe the older brother of Candace Cameron, who plays DJ Tanner on Full House. Okay, so um he had made a, a statement saying that he he's giving a message to the wives to be submissive and follow you know their husband's lead and apparently at the time he was touring he was doing a nationwide marriage tour and he was out you know across the country spreading advice about you know what he feels of the things that people should do in a healthy marriage now i know this probably is like not a topic for like me to like discuss because for one i'm not married i am single but it just seems like that it it was like crawling it was like crawling at me or you know getting underneath my skin that i should talk about it you know regardless if i'm you know not in a relationship regardless if i'm not married um i'm gonna sit here i'm gonna actually like click on the link and i'm just gonna read it this story actually comes from the daily mail c-o-u-k means that's in the uk area so this was a story from the daily mail and it says, <clears throat> Kirk Cameron urges wives to be submissive and follow their husband's lead as former actor continues his nationwide love war fighting for a marriage tour. Okay, so it says former Growing Pain star Kirk Cameron, who is 45, is currently on a nationwide marriage tour giving advice to couples. He said in a recent interview that the role of his wife in a relationship is to be submissive to her husband. Wives are to honor and respect and follow their husband's lead, not to tell their husband how to art or to be a better husband, said Cameron. He also urged men not to fight with their wives because it makes it difficult for their children to ever have healthy relationships. When couples start arguing and fighting in front of their kids, dad cuts mom and mom cuts dad and the kids bleed, said Cameron. Cameron, an, evangel an evangelical Christian, has been married for 24 years and have six children with wife Chelsea Noble. Okay. All right. So I believe that is, that's the only thing. And in the bottom, they actually show Kirk Cameron with his wife alongside a picture when they first got married. It's a really cute picture, by the way. Adorable picture. <laughs> so young and happy. <laughs> okay, so um, that was pretty much it. This is what he was saying. Um, For my thought of it, for what he's saying, some of the stuff, I agree with I agree like it's a little bit it's kind of like 50 50 but I'm not gonna get nasty or nothing because I know um, Kirk Cameron is a Christian and you know he was an actor but he's very very Christian like I see him in all the you know all the Christian channels like on the word network and 
all that kind of stuff. So I'm not going to bash him or anything about it, but I just want to share my thoughts on this. So some of the stuff is from what I agree is that, you know, if you're in a relationship, it's the same thing if you're in a relationship or if you're married, then I feel that the husband nor the wife should not, you know, um, bicker especially not let the children see them arguing or seeing them bicker or anything like that because that does have a mark on them it's like um for example for me i i didn't grow into like a a family uh in a family you know a mom and dad actually married my parents separated before i even came along and throughout like my childhood all the way up to this day i had to go through you know trying to you know be a scale to like be like okay you know one minute i'm up you know i love my mama then i love my daddy and it's kind of like you know like a competition like loving you know who who do you love more and you know to be honest i love both of them you know one doesn't go up and one doesn't go down but it seemed like i'm more comfortable with my mom than i am with my father and, and yeah so i give thumbs up like for people who are you know, actually together, actually have their kids with them, like with their mommy and daddy at home, giving them advice, helping them out with whatever they have to do. I give them full prompts on that. So that's why I agree on because nobody don't want to see them fighting. Now, as for the other thing about, you know, wives have to be submissive and follow the husband lead. In my opinion on that part, I feel that if I was a wife to my husband, my husband has to give me like a, you know, a, a good reason or a good uh, attitude for that matter on, you know, that I need to be following him. Meaning that, you know, my husband cannot say like one thing and be like hypocritical and doing other stuff like behind my back or hiding stuff or you know not being honest and all that kind of stuff that's what that's the part that i feel that you should not follow the lead because if i want if i would like imagine like guys actually listening to kirk cameron and listening to that stuff and and wives or women being sucked for it men could take that opportunity and use that to either you know brainwash their wife and you know be thinking that they're the like the wonderful like they're the best husband on earth that god has sent them for having them really they're like either like cheating or lying or you know stealing you know doing all that other dumb stuff and that part that's why i don't agree i only agree on that part only if the man is really really you know he has to be a good son of a gun you know what i'm saying he has to be good for that matter and and yeah so that that part i only agree you know like on you know it's kind of like 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 a little bit like yeah like yeah or no nah, on that part and um Let's see. So, it, it, he also says that he feels that wives, you know, should not tell, you know, that not to tell, you know, their husband how to ought to be a better husband. Well, I feel that that's not exactly like the 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 thing that i would agree on i really feel like you know it's a you have to tell you know your husband you know or you know your husband your boyfriend whatever like how to be a good boyfriend what to do because i i feel like sometimes people can be in a relationship and they don't know what the world what they're doing they they, they never have brought a flower you know a day of their life for you know any of their past girlfriends or whatever they never took them out to eat or anything like that and i believe that was the case like for me with my ex-boyfriend like um we never really it technically did anything we never went in, really went out to a movie or he never brought me flowers or never brought me candy or done anything for that matter it was just a whole bunch of basic stuff and I don't feel like that's true. I feel like, you know, if men are lacking, like, okay, I feel like if your wife and your husband is lacking at something, you have to, like, open your mouth and let them know. Go, like, honey, you know, they're, 
something you know you have a problem you have this issue and i think we both need to be together or work out or for a husband for that matter or if a husband is lacking out of a wife i know that men are going through this thing too with their wives like there's something that the wife is not doing whether it's it's like uh financially or you know sexually or you know anything for that matter that they're lacking on i feel like you know the men just have to say you know what um we have to sit down we have to talk about this you know what i mean we have to figure this out because you know communication is the key of any relationship that's one thing that i know of that's one of the thing that i wish i should have known when i was going through like my relationships that i should have been opened up and talked about it and it felt and i felt like like one time i did but at the same time it was like i wasn't really that open or really just say you know what you have to listen like attention attention here you know that kind of thing so that part like is a little bit in between so overall like my message for what i believe in like in Kirk Kirk, like it's like he's not saying to me like the wrong thing but he really needs to like maybe change it up a little bit especially with the part about you know husbands need to follow their wives you know that part is true but you have to be truthful in order for you know the wife to follow you or the husband to follow you know as like you have to talk you have to communicate you can you know not fighting in front of the kids you know that's not the case you know and you know be this because you know 50 50 you know you have to put your weight you know he has to put his weight or you know you put your weight and she has to put